Hey y'all doing? I'm Brandon Vaughn and uh, today I'm out here at a chicken run we're building for our chickens. We've already got a few runs for our chickens but we're building some more so we can rotate them and let the chicken runs rejuvenate. I'll show you more on that later. But one of the first things we like to do when we're building a chicken run is we pour some small concrete pads and uh, we use these to put the waters on. You can just set them on bricks or something like that, but where our runs are, they're on a hill. And this gives us a level spot for the water so we don't waste water. So I also like the, the permanence behind it. Once, once uh, we've got one poured, it's there. We don't have to worry about it anymore. So um, anyway, let's get started. Here's a couple of the old pads in uh, one of the old runs. They've pretty much worn this run out. We're going to let it rejuvenate for a while, get some wheat growing on it. But you can see the concrete pads with the waters on them. And that's, uh, that's what we're going for over here. One of the benefits of being a blacksmith is having plenty of scrap steel running around that I can drive in, it'll be in the pad and the ground. It'll just keep this thing from moving as time goes on. Okay, at this point I'm gonna actually mix the concrete. I'm not gonna need all 80 pounds for this one. So I'm not gonna put all of it in the tray here, but we've got several more to do, so. Okay, pretty sure that should be enough. So, you probably noticed I didn't level the form, so to get the concrete level, just gonna soup it up a little. Looks like, and this is gonna be terrible. I didn't drive that rebar down far enough, so. Okay, now when you're done, you need to rinse the concrete off everything that's not supposed to have concrete. There's two reasons for this. One, you need to take care of your tools. Two, if you don't, your father will show up at your house at some random family event, see the said tool with the concrete on it, and give you the same speech about taking care of your tools that he has given to you for over 30 years. So the best thing to do is take care of your tools. Okay, well there's only one thing left to do now. Now we just need to wait over 24 hours to come out here, pop the uh, frame off. Okay, it's been overnight, so now I'm going to pull this form off. Out there. Okay, there's the uh, finished product. Concrete pad, just the right size to hold one of those waters on. Okay, well that's it. Now I know it seems like a lot of trouble to go through just to have something to set a chicken water on, but it's there. It's not going anywhere. It's level and it's one less thing I'll have to worry about. So. While there are easier things you can come up with to set a water on, this is what we go with because this way we're done with it. So, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you'd like to see more like this, hit the subscribe button. Y'all have a good one. See these bunnies? See these cute little rabbits? They want you to like the video. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to let the baby rabbits down, do you? <laughs>